So my dad passed away of cancer and I always asked him to watch over me and send me a good guy. I was praying to God and I think God sent Josh. We're already recording live. Hey guys, it's me Cabernet. And Joshua. And today we're doing the How We Met Challenge. No, it's a story time. Story time. Yep, story time. So we have, I guess, my version of what I remember and then Josh has his version of how we met in 2007. Seven. I was working at my first job, Burlington Coat Factory. Josh started working at Burlington when he started. It was in May. So he started working at Burlington on a button-up shirt and some nice slacks. Okay, it wasn't a suit. They put him in the men's department and I was working in the sportswear department, which is the women's Female department. department. Yeah, I never said anything to him. I just thought, wow, he looks so cute. And I would tell my, my friend, my friend Eunice, I would be like, Eunice, he is so cute. And she was just like, won't you go talk to him? And I was like, no, I'm scared to go talk to him. So I would just sit in my department and I would pretend like I'm working. The clothes, and sometimes I would be like hiding in the clothes rack, looking over at him, peeking at him, and like if I saw him putting away clothes, I don't think he paid any attention to me. I don't I don't even think he saw me looking over at him, but I would just, like he was, I would try to be as close to him as I could. So like if he wasn't close to my department, I would kind of be like walking over to the shoe department to pretend like I'm returning some shoes mm. to that area just so I can look at him a little bit more. For the menswear, I knew who she was. You did? She worked the news. I didn't notice her because she had a boyfriend at the time. How did you know I had a boyfriend at the time? Because everybody told me I had a boyfriend at the time. Okay, so you started working and they were just like, don't talk to this girl, she got a boyfriend, don't talk to no, this girl. No, they didn't girl. say that, they said she had a boyfriend. So I said, I'm not talking to that girl. But how did that even come up? Like, Roderick, my friend Roderick. So he just randomly said, don't talk to her, she has a boyfriend. You're saying how your boyfriend was not a good dude, and... Oh, wow. I was just like, oh, okay, cool. I didn't want, I didn't want to rough on any feathers, new in town. So I was like, ah, well, she got a boyfriend. I respect that. So that's why I didn't talk to her because she had a boyfriend. I was just trying to figure out who everybody was because I just started working there in May. Oh, okay. And I did not go with intent to find anybody. <laughs> I just went to get a job. A job. A job. But Roderick, our friend, let me know that she had a boyfriend and he was a gangster dude. Well, check that off. Not talking to her at all. I'm not trying to get beat up. Okay. And so up to this point, I noticed her but i didn't notice her because she had a boyfriend and i respect the fact she had a boyfriend yeah. yes i had a boyfriend and she forgot that no i didn't forget that i had a boyfriend i just thought he was cute it's okay to look at other people and say oh my gosh he looks good he's said, handsome nope, i'm not looking at her okay so me and my me and my boyfriend at the time it wasn't josh my boyfriend at the time we were on like rocky ground and if we were about to break up but we we were kind of like always getting together and breaking up anyway so the time that me and my current boyfriend we had broken up I wanted to get closer to josh but i didn't know how so i told our friend roger who worked in the same department as him like i really like josh i want his number i'm not gonna give you his number yep. you have to ask for it yourself so no, I was kind of nervous guy, to talk Roger. to him. My other friend, Antagona, she would always get called over to his apartment and she would have to help him fold clothes. I would ask Antagona, can we switch so I can just be closer to Josh? Just so I can get to know him and talk to him. Even though when I went over there, I didn't talk to him that much. I was just kind of like real quiet. Standoffish. And I kind of put up like a front. Like Shannon, I didn't gangsta. like him. But I really did. So I liked him. I, I think I was putting off that vibe like, hey, I like you. So after that, some time passed. And I don't even remember how I got your number. Roderick. Okay, so Roderick ended, ended up giving, giving me the yeah, number, number anyway. Yeah, yeah. I think he asked you. He asked me to give it to her. Yes. Yeah. I'm out of the blue one day when me and my current boyfriend were like fighting or not together at the time. Mm -hmm. So I text him like, hey, what's up? Uh, what are you doing? With the Razor phone. Yeah, we had a Razor flip phone back then. You want to go see a movie or something one day? And I think he said like, yeah, cool, whatever. He I said not, no. I did not go talk to you. I did not hang out with you. You're right. I broke up with my boyfriend. You broke up with your boyfriend. So, yeah. I wouldn't hang out with her until she, I knew she'd broke up with her boyfriend. Right. So eventually. I, I respected that. That's right. So eventually I did break up with my boyfriend at the time. And then we did go get to see a movie. No, I believe it was like Die Hard with the dude with the bald head. Die Hard. We didn't, that's not the first time we hung out. First time we hung out was at our friend Eunice's house. That brought the really hood uh, <laughs> movie to why the house. Why you gotta say all that? I was <laughs> like, what did I get myself into? <laughs> Josh, why are you trying to put me on blast? And I did not know what the movie was about, so I respectfully watched it with them. <laughs> Josh, this is going on my YouTube channel. <laughs> we talked on MySpace. Uh, our MySpace was interesting. 
Her yeah, past was interesting. Josh! I found out she did, did not have a boyfriend. I <laughs> asked her if she wanted to come to my house after yeah. we hung out with Eunice's house, at Eunice's house. And she came over a couple times. I just came over for my birthday and she would hang out. I didn't let her stay because that was against my uh, belief system at the time. <laughs> at and the so time. I would I wouldn't let her stay, I'd make her go home. Yeah, I had to go home. Uh but we got closer. In September we made it official that we were dating each other. It was like September fourteenth. I bought him 16th. September sixteenth. He was from Japan and all that stuff and I couldn't believe it. I was like, Oh wow, so that must mean he likes sushi. So I went to Kroger, which is like a grocery store that sells sushi. It's not real sushi. Yeah. And I picked up some sushi. I ate it out of respect. I, yeah, I brought it to him and he her. was like, I didn't and really sushi. Later on I found out he didn't really like it. He was like, This is fake sushi, it blah was blah fake blah. Sushi. And then all that time leading up, I forgot I was trying to get closer to him. And like, like we already had each other's number, but I would always ask him for like CDs. And I would, I would say, um, can I borrow a CD? And he would be like, of course. yeah, you can borrow a CD. What do you want? So I always heard him blast a Neo at the time. So I, I asked for the Neo CD. I speak Even though when I got the Neo CD, the he gave me the wrong version. On purpose. So I can come back to him again and ask him for the correct she one. come back and talk to him. <laughs> so... Yeah, it was it was pretty good. He was really nice. Very quiet. Still quiet. Yes, he's kind of still quiet. September 16th we made it official. So I came back from uh, Japan after December. I went from Japan and we made it more official. I didn't see a relationship as something that was going to last forever. I didn't know that. Until December cuz I was trying to I knew I was leaving in December. September, October, November, December. No, four December. Months. I knew I was leaving okay. and I was going to be gone and I was scared. That I would maybe go back she to my might, old yeah, boyfriend. So I was trying to play oh. the iffy waters for a little bit. So, so when he went to Japan in December, after we were dating for four months, we were messaging each other back and forth on through via through, email. Oh yeah, email. That's that old was, school. That was very old yeah. school. I remember that. But after I came back, I was like, you know what? I'm gonna start talking to this girl forever. How long Cause... were you in Japan? It's like two weeks. Okay, so two weeks. We were um, back and forth. But. I, never, but I think we grew closer when you went to Japan and then I was back in the States and we were messaging We are messaging back more about what she was so worried about. So like, I miss you. Yeah, so we grew stuff. closer yeah. over there than we did in those four months. Because we were seeing each time. other every day, talking to each other True. every day. So True. like for you to be gone to Japan and I couldn't time. like just pick up the phone and say, hey, what are you doing? It felt like forever. I never did. I didn't want to date anybody just to date. My intention was to get married if I'm gonna date you. Dating each other for three years? We dated for four years. Sure? And then we got married, yes. Cause we're going on six years now, uh, 10 years together. Uh, it was a long time of dating. Nothing, nothing bad. Yeah, we went on trips together, went to Philly together, and yeah. introduced her to my Philly fam. Uh, introduced her to everybody I knew. We went to at college. Yep, amusement parks. Our first date was uh, one of our first dates was to a Liberty a Liberty football. That was game. our first official date. Yeah, that was the first official date. We actually have a picture. Yeah. I'll try to find we were super it. Super young. Yeah. But I knew I, I knew I was gonna marry her. Hence the reason why I'm married now. I didn't now. know that. She didn't know that. I, I had knew. no idea. I knew. I was, I'm dating you. We're gonna get married. Okay. So we got married. I proposed to her though. She had a gap. Yes. In her teeth. A big and gap. he said he liked it. I, I thought also it was had cute. blonde hair. I wanted to look like Ashanti slash. I Beyonce. thought her. So we're back. <laughs> and then his dad, that fourth year, his dad was like, "Man, you've been dating this girl for a long time. If you like it, then you need to put a ring on it." And I know I'm and not. So I put my a ring on. Right now, because my hands are still kind of swollen from the pregnancy and everything. And it is. Um, my ring again. Where my ring? Here, so I may need a new ring. He proposed. Post. I know I posted pictures. And I cried. He put rose petals on the, on stairs, the stairs. He put notes. little notes. It was so cute. He made breakfast and he told me, to, you told me to stay upstairs. Yeah, it's always upstairs. He was like, stay upstairs. My dog Roxy kept running up and down the stairs and yeah. messing it up. Roxy was running up and down steps, so I'm sure. It, man, that probably took a lot of work. How'd you keep her downstairs? I sent her upstairs. Keep the dog upstairs. I'm doing I'm doing a surprise for you. But I didn't think like, okay, the surprise is he's proposing. Like, no, I didn't think that. Threw off and got an earring that same week. Of the proposal? Was, yep, because I was so oh. nervous to do the proposal. I would never got an earring, but I got one because I was nervous to do the proposal. I got an earring and uh, I kind of threw her off. He had no idea. It was a nice proposal. I was playing Bruno Mars, Marry Me. Yep, it's a beautiful night. Cooking the breakfast. I smelled bacon. I thought he was just surprising me with I breakfast. messed up the breakfast. Yeah, the bacon was, was burnt, disgusting. guys. I didn't even eat the bacon. I just did it for the smell. I see little papers on the steps. So I'm picking up each one, reading a note. I don't remember what the note said. About our relationship. Yeah, how much he loved me. He's more the romantic one. So I'm like looking at the notes and I'm starting to tear up and cry. And then I get down to the last note on the stairs and I think it's like, will you marry me? Mm -hmm. And the song is playing in the background and he's on one knee and he has the ring in his hand and he's crying. 
crying like a little baby. <laughs> I was happy. I'm still happy. <laughs> I think I was crying too, but not as much as you. No, I was crying the most. Yeah. Oh, it was I, an emotional day for me. Yep, yeah, it was a And my day. marriage day, I cried that day too. Mm hmm That's yeah. another story. And I, I, po I took pictures of it real quick, and I posted it on Facebook. Oh my God, he proposed, and I said yes, and it was uphill from there. Up, downhill. Oh, it was downhill from there. <laughs> <laughs> why, why can't we go up? 360 uphill. <laughs> Married in 2011, July 2nd, 2011, and then that year he heard God speak to him and he said that we are moving, God told him that we need to move to Japan. That's why we're here. We moved to Japan, that's why we're here. And we know why now. To be closer to family, of course. That wasn't the purpose at the time. Why, why? His dad has cancer and you know the reason why we would be in Japan or why mm. we were coming back here, well, well not we, because he, he was born and raised here, but why I, while we were moving here, and then recently we found out his dad has cancer, so... I've been having to help out a lot. Yeah, so that's probably why we are here, here in the first now. place. Yep. But uh, a lot of people are asking why we're in Japan, and we came here to work in the beginning. So I'm a kindergarten and preschool teacher, and he's a ninth grade teacher and designer, and also doing a lot of other work within the church. So mm. we're technically missionaries. Busy. In Japan. Is what it is. So yeah, so that's, that's how, our, we met. how we met. That's how we met. How we met. I'm pretty sure we left out a bunch of stuff. I'm gonna have to look at this really. each other. We messaged each other. We dated for four years. That's a lot of stuff. We just didn't go over what we did all the four years. A lot, but none of your business. None of your business. None of your business. <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, so I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Comment below how you met your significant other, whether it's your boyfriend or your husband. Hopefully your husband. I would like to read or it. Or your wife. Thank you. Like, comment, subscribe, and don't forget to share Enjoy. this video. Bye. Adios. Adios.